Transfer Insiders, Adi Oladipo, Rory Jennings. We are going to talk a bit of Chelsea because uh, uh, there's been some movements with regards to Chelsea, Rory Jennings. Um, I know you're going to be happy with this one just because, uh, not that you're not a fan of him, but I think it was time to go. And Christian Pulisic to AC Milan is confirmed. You're going to get nearly 20 million quid from him as well. I just saw he's a, a rival um, at the airport. He got a bit of an arrival, you know. They're best trans- best transfer him. window ever. Best transfer window ever. You have got rid of a lot of players. I mean, get, getting rid of Christian Pulisic for any money is is great value. Mm. It really is because I didn't think he passed his medical. How long did he have left on his contract? Do we know? Not sure. A year, two years? Not, not sure. To get Pulisic, anything. 24. 24. And look, there was a time he had... Do you know where he was amazing for Chelsea? Yeah. Project Restart. Do you remember Project Restart? He was he was just sensational. Like yeah. playing playing football behind closed doors, he was just unreal. He was he was Chelsea's best player in that very short period. He had a great purple patch. And in that period we saw the player that we constantly hear that he is. Mm. You know the people who like Pulisic, you know, Captain America, the best American player ever by the age of eighteen, all of that kind of conversation. Yeah. We saw we got a glimpse of it, but it was so short lived. Yeah, but that glimpse it was fantastic in that glimpse. He was. He was very good in that glimpse. But ultimately, Chelsea needed rid of Christian Pulisic. We couldn't rely on him. He was never fit. He didn't really want to be at the club. His father was forever on social media telling the world that he didn't really want to be at Chelsea. So I'm really pleased that the Christian Pulisic-Chelsea era is over. And he's gone to AC Milan, where Chelsea have... That's what now? Four former Chelsea players at AC Milan? Is it four? It's, yeah, I think it's four. It, well, it's, uh, Olivier it's, Giroud's there, isn't he? Of course, yes. Yes, Fikai yes, Tomori is there. Tomori, of course. And Ruben loftus cheek Yeah. And uh, and now Christian Pulisic. They're going to be loving it, ain't they? They're going to be loving the nightlife, all those four together as well, ain't yeah, they? Yeah, I might have to pop out. I might, <laughs> yeah. have, to go, I have to go for a <laughs> game. Go. Yeah. Could be fun. Uh, Conor Gallagher, we're hearing, could be another player to go as well. I think this is where it needs to stop. I think Conor Gallagher's still clearly got a lot to offer to the club uh, a young player energetic brings a lot to the table you don't want him to go surely I, I, I love Conor Gallagher I think there's room in every squad for a Conor Gallagher I think we need we need Conor Gallagher in our squad one second turn his mic on turn his mic on Yo. he's just entered the building the Hello, man, Jason the Cundy. Cundy. Jason good Cundy evening good evening turned, good evening has turned up with his producer as well I have I know to hold my hands I forgot what we're doing there but they didn't like it. <laughs> Just making sure. Just, just making, making just, sure. Just holding my hand, yeah. yeah so he's, 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 he's well. intently looking at you as well. Yes. Get it out. Yeah, that's probably thinking. Do, yeah, do, do you down. agree with that, with, uh, Jason? There, we're just having a conversation uh, about Conor Gallagher. Yeah. I like him. I rate him. I think there's room for Conor Gallagher in Chelsea squad. In fact, I think there's room for a Conor Gallagher in everyone's squad. Do you rate him as highly as I do? I do rate him. Um, I think the way that Poch is going to play, I think he actually be quite valuable. Um, there needs to be a little bit more creativity from him. You know, that that top end of the pitch yeah. where. He's going to really earn his corn, it's creating goals, scoring goals, that sort of thing. But look, he's had a he's had a meteoric rise, really. When you mm. saw, when you saw how well he done at Crystal Palace, mm. and when he came back, he's had some really good games for us. I just wonder whether long term his future will continue to be mm. at Chelsea. But I think Poch will look. I think Poch will love working with him. His enthusiasm, his work rate is off the clock. Absolutely. So and like you said, in the, the way that Poch wants to play, it would not surprise me if he gets a lot. So it starts it, lot, lot, last season. If you think about the way that Pochettino used Ryan Mason and Bentaleb, I feel like I feel like Conor Gallagher could really benefit from Pochettino's mm. methods, from Pochettino's formation. And if we can get Conor Gallagher playing and playing well. I think I think he could feature a lot for Chelsea next well, year. Well, he needs to because he doesn't have no midfielders, so he's mm. got to. Uh, very quickly, this one really grinds your gears. Uh, Lukaku, it looks like the saga is close to coming to an end, Rory. Um, Inter's offer is £25.7 million. Considering that you bought him for 100 um, you want 40 You're yes. still far away. You're so far away from each other, it's still incredible. Do you know what's really frustrating? Like, we're being held to ransom by, by Inter with, with regard to Lukaku. Of course we are. But... I think I'm slightly concerned that Pochettino is going to look at his Chelsea options, look at his forward options, and he's got Aubameyang there and he's got access to Romelu Lukaku. Aubameyang is still at Chelsea? Yes. I thought he had made a move to Saudi. Is no, he no. still at Chelsea? No, no, Abram- Aubameyang's definitely at Chelsea. Wow. And Pochettino may think this is the best option for Chelsea. You know when you think about who we've got at the club? You know, you, the likes of Broja, maybe we look to sign somebody, I don't know. But I'm slightly concerned that Aubameyang or Lukaku even could be given a, a fresh slate by Mauricio Pochettino because as much as I don't like Lukaku, as much as I think the way that he treated Chelsea is a disgrace, if I'm totally frank with you, Addy, he is probably the best striker at the club. I don't think he's very good. I don't rate him. Mm. I think he's I think he's problematic. But I also think he's probably the best at our disposal and therefore maybe 
Maybe Pochettino is going to look at them and think, Aubameyang, Lukaku, maybe they will get an opportunity yeah, to impress. Let's not forget as well, I mean, Nkunku's come in, who clearly knows how to find the back of the net, did so a lot in the Bundesliga. He'll play just behind, I think. You think? I think he'll, I think he'll feature a lot, Nkunku. Mm. But I think we'll need a striker with Nkunku in a three, part of a three behind. Yeah. So maybe Nkunku, potentially Lukaku, Raheem Sterling. Yes. Potent- I know you don't like to hear like that, that. Something like that. But that could be it. That mm. could be it. Um, it'd be interesting to see uh, what happens. All right, this is...